Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video. So in this video, I will be showing you guys four simple styles that you can do with either your box braids or your yarn twist. So the first style is going to be a pompadour style and you won't need anything but your hands and the hair on your head. So first you want to create the pompadour in which the pompadour is always up here in the middle. So you want to section this part of your hair. It doesn't necessarily have to be even but you just want to make sure that it looks right. So this is my section. It's pretty small. So I absolutely love this style. So what you're going to do is you're going to twist the middle and you're going to push up the front. You just kind of want to situate it um, however you like. And it doesn't have to be tight. And you want to hold this section right here in the back so while you're holding that section what you're going to do is you're going to take pieces from the side and you kind of want them to be an even amount take pieces from the side and then while you're holding the top part of the pompadour you're just going to basically not the hair so that knot right there actually secures the pompadour and then after that you're going to do the same thing all the way to the back and because you're pulling from your edges to the back, don't pull it so tight. So I'm going to take these. So with this style, you could actually go all the way down. A um, majority of the time I just wore it down like this, but let me go down one more so you guys can see what it looks like. So here are my two pieces. And when you knot the pieces, you kind of just want to let them hang. I'm going to let them hang like this. So this is the first style. So this is the first style and we're on to the next. So the next style, um, you're going to need a headband, an elastic headband or one of those gold jewelry headbands that everyone wears with their hair down. So you can wear your hair like this. I actually got my headband at the Beauty Supply Store for a dollar. I actually have this in pink and purple, which I absolutely love. And this style is actually from my, um, my channel page. It's actually the picture in the background where I have on purple lips and something like that. But so first you want to put your headband on and I like to put the headband on because it kind of makes you um, see where you want to start twisting your hair and you can kind of adjust it now if you put it on afterwards you're just going to be messing with what you just did in the beginning so what you want to do is you want to start twisting your hair back and it doesn't have to be tight twist all the way to the back like this you just adjust it how big you want it to be. I like it like this, a little covering my ears. So while I'm doing this side, I'm actually leaning my head on my elbow to hold the other side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just twist all the way back.
until it meets in the middle. So the back should look like this. So that's what it should look like. And you can just adjust the band however you want. So you can leave the back down like this if you want, but normally I just tuck it. It's a lot of hair to tuck, but I tuck it in the back like this. See all that hair it's not going to stay so you are going to need some bobby pins the closed ones to keep the hair secure and it might take a couple minutes because it has to go through the yarn and sometimes you only need about two or three uh, normally I use about three So I just used two, and then you want to fluff the hair, and you just adjust your headband, and then this is the stuff. You can use any headband that you want. Um, I absolutely love these because it's actually not that tight. It's like the best um, material ever. So this is style number two. On to style number three. style requires you to flip your head over. So to achieve this style, it's best that your head is hung over like this with the hair being straight. So um, the pattern that's going to be in the back of the head is a braid pattern like this. And you're only going to be using the hair on the outside of your head on both sides. All the hair that's in the middle should remain straight going down the middle. Now that you've made it to the top, hopefully that was really easy for you. Um, so everything comes up here. So it's going to be a roll and tuck style. So whatever is left out up here, you can kind of just carry it over. It's up to you what you want to do. Then you can just pull it back like this. Make sure you hold all the pieces so you know where they are. You can kind of just make it loose like this. Make it really loose. So it's kind of like a Janelle Monet kind of style, which you guys know I love me some pompadour styles. So you have this left over. You could actually just tuck it inside of the hair, but that may be hard. So of course we're going to use our trusty bobby pins to do that. I want to fix this side so that it looks like it actually rolls on this side, but it's not. So put as many bobby pins as you need. To 
keep it from falling, obviously. So you can do it as big as you want or as small. But every time I do it, it actually comes out different every single time. But either way, just make sure it's nice and neat. Anything that sticks out, you can practically just tuck it back in. So. And we're on to the next style and the last style which is really really easy so this last style is the bun which um, I was wearing in the previous video which is how I've been wearing my hair majority of the time with my yarn twist so um, this is the pantyhose that I use it's actually like a dark brown it's pretty long and it's actually thick it's not one of those um, this is actually a pair of opaque stockings so it's pretty long and I like that it's long so that I can wrap it around my hair at least uh, three or four times, not too tight, even though I always do it tight and I just loosen up um, whatever uh, twist is on the outside so it's not pulling any hair, obviously because you need your edges and so stuff. I'm going to flip my hair over and show you guys. So I take my pantyhose hose and I put it under my hair like this. Then I adjust or fix it and I pull tightly like that so that's how it looks um, I could leave it here or I can adjust it which I normally do so sorry guys so it's up here and what I do is I just whew, that was tight y'all Remember, you don't want it to be too tight. Then I just double it, knot it in the back. And I'm going to work a bit. So there it is. So it should look like this. We'll make sure the back is neater than mine. So then I pull the hair over like this, practically like this. And this is my beat up elastic band. And I actually like that it's beat up and it's stretched out because it actually makes my bun feel more um, comfortable instead of being too tight. So you just want to loosen this up. You don't want any tension on your edges or anything like that. And then you just start, I just start rolling. Just twist the hair like this. And I twist like this going all the way around. So any part that's loose, you can practically just tuck it in um, underneath the bun. So there's my bun. And like I said, anything that's sticking out, I just tuck it. That is my bun, and my bun is still crooked. Okay, so we're gonna take our elastic band, whichever you choose. I'm just one of my eye. Whatever you choose, and we're going to put it around twice. Just 
and run it down the sides and then I just push it up like that anything that's sticking out I pull it and I roll it roll it right underneath there anything that's sticking out I pull it and I tuck it inside of my button So there is my bun, and that's pretty much it. The last style. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And let me know which style was your favorite. And if you do any of these styles, let me know. I want to see how you guys perfected these styles or made it your own. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.